Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Well, with Christmas behind us, I thought it was time to go ahead and start creating some Valentine projects. And to start us off, I did put together a new kit called Love Notes. And these are really cute little ATC cards um, with matching envelopes, little love endearments, and some library cards to create little ATCs. And I'm going to show you how to make this little book here that I created just playing around. And I've made these little ATC books before. They're little matchbooks. And they're so cute because you can easily just tear them out um, and use the little cards as starters. You can use them as tags. You can also use them to just send to some crafty friends as well. Now, you may recall this love notes endearment sentiment page. And as you can see here, I went ahead and I just sized it down for this particular kit because I wanted you to be able to just print and cut. So everything that you see here is sized perfectly to create this little book that we're going to be creating here in just a minute. So all you have to do is print it and cut it. All right. So there is, there are three uh, pieces of paper in this kit. And what I did is I just chose one of the pieces and I printed it on some uh, cardstock that had already a design on the other side. And this is a little trick that I sometimes do so I don't waste a lot of my ink. Um, I definitely want to use my printed uh, images, um, but I don't necessarily want to print both sides. So I just sized down some already uh, designer cardstock and I print it on the white side. And this makes it really easy to be able to create a double sided uh, sheet of paper. And I cut this paper at about two and a half inches. Uh, and then I just uh, folded over half an inch, scoring it at the half inch and then just folding it over. And this is where your match, uh, your ATC cards are gonna be attached to your matchbox. Now I didn't cut down the size yet because it really depends on the size of your ATC. Now remember, I pre-sized these for us, but you can easily, um, with digital images, size them to any size you want. So if you know you're gonna go ahead and use these uh, sizes pre-printed, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and score your second line at about the three and three fourths inches. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and trim my ATCs and then score the top of my matchbook. Now, as you can see here, when I was cutting my ATCs, I did leave a little bit of white space on the bottom because I knew I was gonna be covering that part up with my little fold at the bottom. So this is a trick where you can make your ATCs a little bit bigger. And when you go to tear your ATCs off, you're getting rid of some of that white space that you're not gonna be using anyway. Now in the kit, you're gonna get pre-designed ATC cards where all you have to do is print and cut and attach them to your little ATC book. But I also included some blank library cards. So if you wanted to uh, cut out some ephemera from the kit or even from your own stash, you can decorate your own ATC cards for your little ATC uh, matchbook. Now within the kit, you're gonna get four colors of the little uh, library cards. And these are pastel colors, which are perfect for Valentine's. And once again, I went ahead and I trimmed down the blank ones, leaving a little bit of white space at the bottom, because again, that's gonna get tucked under your matchbook uh, fold where you actually attach your ATC cards. And don't fret if you leave a little bit too much of the white at the bottom because once you have them all cut out and trimmed on the sides and on the top, you can easily match them up against your ATC cards that are already trimmed and make sure that you uh, have them lined up perfectly. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with my other ATCs that I've already got cut off, uh, cut out and I have a little extra white at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim off that excess because you really want all of your ATC cards to be the same size. And then that way they match up uh, perfectly aligned in your little matchbook. All right, so within the kit, as I said, you have several little paper dolls that you can use to decorate some of your library cards. You've got some little envelope ephemera pieces. And of course, you can always dig into your stash. So um, these are gonna need to be cut, fussy cut and you can easily uh, just fussy cut them with your scissors or if you have a scan and cut or a Cricut that you can scan these into, um, you can easily cut them out that way as well. And as you can see, I also created some cute little red label uh, 
pieces which can easily be decorated as well. I love these little red labels because I can decorate them up with my remnant rubs uh, from my Tim Holtz stash and they create cute little journal inserts. They're great for some of my cards or just little fun ephemera pieces. All right, so now that I know the size of my library cards and um, exactly where they're gonna fit into my ATC matchbook, I went ahead and I scored it at the top and then I cut off the excess. Now, if you like to be precise, the score line that I scored at is approximately, uh, let me give you a measurement here. It's about, it's about three and three fourths inches. But like I said, it's easier to go ahead and just take your ATC card and fit it into the slot where it's going to be housed and then score accordingly. All right, so now that I have everything sized up and cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, Walnut Stain Distress Ink and I'm gonna go ahead and distress my ephemera pieces so that way I can take some of the white off of the edges. And before I start to decorate any of those mini library cards, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the outside uh, because I wanna be able to have my choice of what pieces I'm gonna put on the outside. Now for this, I went ahead and I used this little girl mailing a Valentine because I think it's a perfect uh, cover. And then the little sentiment that I used is gonna be love notes. I also used the two envelope ephemera pieces uh, to house uh, her, her uh, to layer um, my little girl on top of um, and I thought it created just a really nice uh, little look for my Valentine uh, matchbook and then once I had the outside decorated it was just a matter of decorating up the other library cards now within my matchbook I have five cards um, that I put into the little case, but you could probably fit a couple of more. Um, you just wanna make sure that your staple will go through the cards at the bottom. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're adding to your matchbook. Now this little kit um, is perfect, like I said, to make your little matchbook, but there's so much more you can do with it. You can create little Valentine's cards, you can create envelopes, um, or you can even create some fun Valentine's cards um, to be mailed. So the kit is very versatile, but I wanted to be able to create um, a kit where you actually had a design for a specific project. And that's why I decided to go ahead and size these perfectly to make these little matchbooks. Um, but certainly you can do so much more with it. And if you are part of my Crafty Patreons community, then this will be the kit of the month for you in January. And this will be going out to you probably around the third or the fourth of the month, along with your coupon discount that I give you every month. If you're not familiar with my Patreon membership, be sure to check it out in the links below um, where uh, there's several options. You can not only get the Crafty Patreon where you'll get a kit of the month, you could also do a fan-based Patreon, which is just a way to support my channel and to get a few extra perks as well. And then, of course, I have my Backstage Pass, which gives you access to all of my digitals. Now, while I love the pre-printed library cards because you can just basically print and go, I really love working with ephemera and layering it. So this is probably the fa my favorite part of the whole project is just cutting out the little paper dolls, cutting out some of the ephemera pieces and then gluing them together. Now I do have a couple of a, a little mini envelopes that you can use as background, um, but if you do need some more mini ephemera pieces, I will also leave a link to my uh, mini Valentine ephemera sheet, uh, which is not part of the kit, but they would work perfectly to add as additional layers to your little library cards. I'll also leave links to um, another site where I grabbed some of my um, images as well. So if you are interested in getting some little ephemera pieces to create your own, um, I'll have links to those as well. So as I finish up here, I just wanna remind you um, that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you head out. And if you um, enjoyed the video, please definitely leave me a thumbs up. I also do uh, live crafting events on Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. So if you are interested in at, uh, watching some of those live events, um, be sure to turn on your notifications so that way you are notified when I do go live on my YouTube channel. So as you see, I went ahead and I continued adding um, more background and 
uh, points of interest by adding some of my remnant rubs from Tim Holtz. You can use little ephemera pieces. Uh, you can use some of your small stamps. There's so much you can do to create these little library cards um, and they create such fun gifts to your crafty friends or just to um, have in your stash to be able to use them as starters. And then once you have all of your ATC uh, library cards decorated, then you want to go ahead and um, create that perforation at the bottom so that way when you add them to your matchbook, you can easily tear them off. Now I use a tool from Tim Holtz and it's called, uh, it's from Tonic Studios and it creates the perforation. If you don't have this tool, um, you can easily create some perforated um, lines using a needle. So you just, it's going to take you a little bit more time, but all you need to do is just line up your ATCs. Um, and I would even maybe create a, use a ruler to create a line and just punch holes that are pretty close together. So that way, uh, when you do attach it to your book, um, you can easily tear them out um, with a perforated line. Of course, this little tonic studio tool from Tim Holtz works perfectly. Um, but if you don't have it, certainly there are ways around, around it. And the way that I do this is I just pretty much line it on my score buddy. Um, and then I use one of the score lines to go ahead and run my perforations through. I could probably do this just on my media mat, but I wanted to make sure that my lines were straight. Um, and you have to make sure that your cardstock is a little bit thicker because it will cut the piece of paper off if you go too deep. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then once I had all of my uh, library cards perforated at the bottom, then I went ahead and I just lined them up in my little matchbook um, underneath the flap and then I um, stapled two staples. So as you can see here, I'm just lining up my ATC cards. And again, I use five, but you probably could fit in a couple of more. And then once I had them lined up, I went ahead and added two staples, making sure my staples are below that perforation line. And then here you just have a little matchbook that you might have to trim a little bit because when you close it, now that you have those staples, you might have a little bit of a gap or a bubble. So you just want to continue to trim it till you get rid of that little bubble. Um, and you'll know, you might have to trim it a few times, but after a few trims, you'll be able to get it perfectly. And here you have a cute little book. Um, and as I said, in my kit, I do have a template for a little envelope that will house this little uh, matchbook, which creates a perfect little Valentine gift. All right, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and we'll see you again next time.